Have you heard the whispers of concern and the words of caution? The topic we're delving into today is a matter of both curiosity and controversy. Welcome to a discussion that demands attention, especially for new parents. We're unraveling the question that many ponder, is it true you need to be careful about allowing your cat in the crib with the baby, especially a newborn? With the arrival of a precious bundle of joy, the dynamics in your home shift, and so do the concerns. Stay with us as we explore this delicate matter, backed by facts and figures that shed light on the potential risks and necessary precautions. The balance between your feline friend and your new family member requires understanding and awareness. Let's navigate this terrain together, ensuring the safety and harmony of both your furry and human babies. Number 1. Allergens and Respiratory Health It's not just a matter of comfort, it's about health. Cats are known to shed dander, which can trigger allergies and respiratory issues in sensitive individuals. The delicate lungs of a newborn are especially vulnerable, and exposing them to potential allergens could have serious consequences. A study conducted by the American Academy of Pediatrics found that infants exposed to cats during the first year of life had a higher risk of developing wheezing and asthma-like symptoms. Number 2. Bacterial Contamination As adorable as those cuddly moments may seem, the reality is that cats are naturally curious and explorative creatures. They roam, they play, and they visit places we might not always be aware of. Bringing that curiosity into a crib shared with a newborn can introduce the risk of bacterial contamination. A study published in the journal Pediatrics highlights that cats carry a bacterium called Bartonella hensili, which can lead to cat scratch disease CSD, a condition that could pose health risks, especially to a vulnerable immune system. Number 3. Unexpected Allergic Reactions While most cats are known for their gentle nature, their unpredictable responses to new stimuli cannot be ruled out. Introducing a cat to a crib with a baby could lead to unforeseen allergic reactions or even aggressive behavior due to territorial instincts. It's essential to consider the unpredictable nature of feline reactions, especially in situations where emotions are heightened, such as the introduction of a new family member. Number 4. Sudden Changes in Routine the arrival of a newborn inevitably brings about a cascade of changes in daily routines. As parents adapt to the demands of caring for a baby, their time and attention are redirected, often leading to changes in how they interact with their pets. Cats, creatures of habit, are sensitive to alterations in their environment and routines. When their familiar rhythms are disrupted, they may react with stress, anxiety, or confusion. The crib, once their peaceful retreat, can become a symbol of these changes. Their emotional response could manifest as avoidance, aggression, or even marking territory. For instance, a cat accustomed to resting in the crib might become agitated when it discovers it's no longer accessible or when it associates it with feelings of neglect. To mitigate these reactions, proactive measures such as maintaining some semblance of routine, engaging in interactive play, and providing designated safe spaces for the cat can help them adapt more smoothly to their altered circumstances. Number 5. Sleep Deprivation The arrival of a newborn brings with it a natural disruption to sleep patterns for parents and, consequently, for the entire household. Amidst the already challenging terrain of sleepless nights, the inclusion of a curious and unpredictable cat in the mix can further amplify sleep disturbances. Cats are known for their nighttime activity, and while their nocturnal tendencies might be endearing under normal circumstances, the presence of a baby changes the equation. Cats may view the crib as an inviting spot, a warm refuge. Unfortunately, their playful antics or movements could inadvertently wake the sleeping baby. Moreover, a crying baby might trigger the cat's curiosity or anxiety, 
causing disturbances that aggravate sleep-deprived parents and lead to heightened stress for the cat. To ensure a restful environment for both the baby and the cat, creating separate sleeping spaces with defined boundaries becomes essential. This strategy safeguards the sanctity of sleep for all members of the household and fosters a sense of security for the cat, free from disruptions that might intensify their stress levels. Number 6. Expert Insights Experts in both human and veterinary medicine emphasize the importance of caution when it comes to cats and babies sharing sleeping spaces. Organizations like the American Veterinary Medical Association and the American Academy of Pediatrics recommend keeping cats out of cribs and bassinets due to potential health risks. Consulting with pediatricians and veterinarians can provide personalized guidance based on your specific family dynamics. Number 7. Gradual Introduction and Supervision Should you wish to introduce your cat to the baby space, Doing so gradually and under supervision is key. Let your cat explore the environment while the baby is not present, allowing them to acclimate to the changes without associating the baby with a sudden shift in their territory. Always supervise interactions between your cat and baby, ensuring both parties are comfortable and safe. Number 8. Priority, Baby's Safety and Well-Being at the heart of this debate lies a single priority, the safety and well-being of your baby. While your cat is an integral part of your family, making informed decisions that prioritize your baby's health and security is paramount. The journey of integrating your furry and human family members is a delicate one, requiring vigilance, understanding, and a balanced approach. Number 9. Scratches and Bites Cats have sharp nails and teeth that can cause deep cuts and potentially damage ligaments, tendons, or other tissues. These injuries can be painful and may require medical attention. Cat scratches and bites can introduce bacteria into the baby's skin, leading to infections. Bacteria from a cat's mouth can cause infections, especially if the wound is not properly cleaned and treated. Cat scratch disease, a bacterial infection, can also develop from a cat scratch, even if the scratch site doesn't look infected. Infections can result in redness, swelling, pus, and other symptoms. Remember, our cats are more than just pets, they are cherished members of our family. As we come to the end of our exploration, we hope you've gained a deeper understanding of this topic. Don't forget to share this video with fellow cat lovers and leave your comments below. Stay tuned for more captivating insights into the intriguing world of cats.